Not me. Now. And you know what happens? They get that shit. All of a sudden, you get that shit done. That motherfucker drop right in that motherfucker inbox. That's terrible. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 one scenario. So is that really is that telling the boss or so communication for snitching? Oh. Is that a form of snitching, what you're saying? Are you telling the boss on your coworkers and shit like that? Or? Um, not really, because I never really do that. I'm, I'm quick on my feet and good with my words. I don't, never, I don't ever want to see a motherfucker lose their job. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to put you in the hot seat, and I'm going to make you think, like, you know what, this fuck nigga, I got to hurry up and do this shit, because I, I don't know if he's going to tell. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But I don't never tell. Okay. I, ain't never, I ain't that guy. You know so, so what about like, the, with the, them type of niggas then? I feel that's like it should be a hint and go with the flow. So uh-huh. like, mm-hmm. like, it should be a hint, but go with their flow. Like, right. Like, if they're, you hint to see what, how they feeling, then go with their flow. Okay. If they need a second, give them a second. Mm-hmm. If they feel happy, you can feel happy and goofy mm-hmm. with them. They want to be talkative, oh yeah, let's have a conversation. Right. Other than that. So what does it look like when um, the comp- the lack of comprehension when you're trying to give them the hint and they just don't get it? What does that look like? And how do you better say things? And because sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So it how is, do you... It, but okay, hold on. Before we go there, right? Mm-hmm. Because we've been talking about the professional... We even talked about someone in Shell's line of work, but we ain't. It's a lot of entrepreneurs out here. Yeah. So, so from your standpoint, when a customer, mm-hmm. your shit is customer based, Custom, which means yeah. it's a performance based job, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to make sure, no matter what fucking kind of day you having, that you always can give your your customer your or your consumer the best the best version of you. Mm-hmm. Cause just cause you pants, you could be running a Seven Eleven real quick and just get some baby wipes because you got a shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And somebody see you that recognize you, they like, man, let me get a picture, man. You cool as shit. I be watching you, blah blah blah. And you looking like get the fuck out of my face, Stanley. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So how does that work, like in your fit? Um, you always have to for for like people that support you and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You always have to give them the best version of you because you don't want to lose somebody that was supporting you from day one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, um, even if I was like really, really big, I, I, I wouldn't want to do that because you got to be nice to everybody. Like mm-hmm. my, my job is to entertain and bring, uh, uh, emotions out of you, not mm-hmm. make you hate me. You know right. what I'm saying? Unless it's from, uh, a role that I did on a movie or something mm. like that. Then, if you hate, like how they hate Tyreek, they hate Tyreek because right. he right. Uh, right. he played that role. They played that play role. role too well. You yes. know what I'm saying? So that's the shit that you want though, because they gonna come right. and look at it. You don't want right. nobody to say, oh, "I'm Hold never on. looking at your shit again." Hold on, but you are still human. Though. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. You are still a human. You still go through every day. But let me tell you something. Yes. Like so, let me tell you something though. If they meet you and you having one of them days and they get a like a bad impression, ninety percent of people is not gonna think he's human. Yeah. They gonna be like, you know that he's that's a fine. dick, he's that's an fine. asshole, that's and that's why I say you gotta always you gotta always be humble and you gotta always yeah. be nice to people. Damn, he a bitch. You just gotta be nice to people. You know, or, that most or you can what you do a bitch? or, or yeah. this is what you do. It's, you do whatever they ask you to do, and be like, okay, I gotta go, and, and then roll out real quick. And just, you just <laughs> make it brief. Take it brief. Take it brief. Take You make it brief, and then you get the fuck on. Okay. Yeah. I, I think that, I mean, you know, I, I feel like that shit is dope. To have people recognize you and uh-huh. yes. actually want some time from you, and you know what I'm saying? Just even if it's. Smokey, uh, say something funny real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think that. It could be that, but it could be overwhelming also. It depends yeah. on what level that you are on. Yeah. Like, picture you trying to go to the grocery store. You have children. Uh-huh. Say if you got a child, you trying to go to the grocery store. You trying to do, you but know, that's everyday what come with the things. Life, though. That's yeah. what come with that exactly. life. You, you know, you know, you can't do certain sh- shit once you get to that certain status. So that's when you pay other people to do it, or you send somebody yeah. that nobody recognized to go that's, do it. Ooh. What or, about the vulnerable position? Ooh. Like a motherfucker spots you in a restaurant mm-hmm. and you go into the bathroom, you got Ooh. the shit, and the nigga see the stall you go in, they go in that motherfucker. Look at this man, look at how some shit. I would say, first of all, I would never 
whatever shit in the book. Yeah, like, I'd be like, nigga, pass me some tissue. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's watching and looking. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do that. Like, oh, my God. You yeah. are nuts, man. You are, yeah, are fucking it is. nuts. It is. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, that's, that, I mean, I think, I think. Entrepreneurs definitely got it the worst. Yes, because um, you, 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 yes. entertainers, yeah, yes. entertainers, man. You just entrepreneurs, so, entertainers. Yes, absolutely. Because mm-hmm. you, you're, you're solely dependent on your image, right? Exactly. If I piss somebody at work off, my checks still won't come. They, the mother is just mad. But yeah. what about doctors, city nurses? Mm. I mean, that don't matter either because they still won't get that check. If if you're not gonna come, somebody else. Yeah, but you come. can always switch, like. You can get a bad name, bad reviews and shit, and motherfuckers will change their primary care on your ass. Mm-hmm. Yes, like, but it's it. a difference, like, for emergency room people. When you oh, have, yeah. yes. You have the people cussing you out. They ask you all Can you hurry up and see me? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, so how, do you, how do you communicate with that? Man, it's, I mean, you still, it's still customer base. It's still, you have to try to calm that person down. Yeah. You still have to, you know, go through your, because even when you go in the emergency room, I don't give a fuck if you dying. Mm-hmm. I can't check you in without giving, getting all your information. I need your, com- I need you your have to communicate yeah. what's going on with you. Absolutely. Communication. You can be, and then what about them parents who, their child is the only child in the fucking urgent care and it's a fucking cough and they think it's so, they, they child about to die. So mm-hmm. they go in the emergency room with the attitude and all that yeah. shit. Like, bitch, what insurance do you have? So, 